Alright guys, welcome to this vlog. I am here at Brewbot in Mumbai. It's like a very kind of nice fancy area and they got this really cool brewery here. They brew their own beers and these are some of them here. They actually have seven but three of them are sold out so I'm going to be trying four different local brewed beers here. Brewed beers here and I'm going to try them out and see what I think about them. So let's go inside. Let me just show you inside. The music is loud so I'm not going to speak. I'm just going to show you how it looks inside and then I'm going to come back out here where it's nice and quiet and try the beers out. guys so that was the inside of it now let's see some other beers here and what they have look they have a IPA here from the US I love IPAs they have a Belgium orange beer here they have the black mamba like Kobe Bryant or the snake this is another one they have the Skywalker from Germany Luke Skywalker beer all right so here's their menu and these are the ones I'm gonna try because the ones they have the black mamba the floating head and I believe he said the IPA and this one right here so I think he said these are sold out this one sold out I don't know we'll see anyways I'm hoping I don't get drunk now you can sample four beers so they only have four available and you can sample four of them 120 milliliter little sample trials for 245 rupees so not bad to try them all look he actually brought them out here have a look that's the little sampler All right, so they actually keep the menu here and he's gonna put the beers on it. Oh, all right, so I know which one I'm drinking. All right, that looks good. And you guys brew all of these here, right? You make them here inside there. Yeah. All right. All right, that's a black mom, but it looks like Coca-Cola. All right, thank you, sir. All right, here's the Sophie sighting. And all right, guys, so let's try these beers out, guys. There's four different ones. I wish they would have had all of them. All right, guys, let's see which one I start with. I got a feeling I'm really gonna like this one, so let's save that one. The orange one might be a hit or miss. IPA, I love IPA, but this one looks a little on the light side. It almost looks like orange juice. I'm mean, not orange juice, apple juice, an apple cider. You know? Let's start with the IPA, why not? So this beer here, a complex, ready malt profile balanced with moderate hot bitterness, grapefruit, and citrus notes on the palate followed by a tropical fruit backbone. Sounds like a lot to describe a beer. Delicious, and they don't lie. You feel like the sweeter, the fruity side towards the end. At first it's just an IPA, but then it's on the sweet side at the end. Very unique, I haven't tried one like that. Yep. I'm a fan of this one, I really like it. Alright, it's not my favorite IPA ever, but it's on the lighter side. It's not that strong, and the little fruity taste at the end gives it a nice little flavor. Alright, this guy is done. Alright, I'm gonna save this one for third, because it's the only black beer that I have, and it looks like Coca-Cola. So let's go here to the butt wark orange that's what they call it its origin is belgium low hot bitterness with noticeable wheat profile notes of spice and coriander are prominent leading on to a zesty orange fruitiness on the palate all right it's all about orange taste over here it's called orange so i don't taste any i don't smell any oranges not my favorite at all it's way too way too on the sweet side for a beer yeah it's not bad but I, I would never order this let's get it over with. Carlos Volpe does not waste beer all right 
Alright, so if you check out my other vlog, I reviewed some Indian beers. Some of them are imported, some of them were local, but here these are all brewed over here. So you can say they were all made in India. Like, they were made here. And now let's go with the Black Mamba, aka it looks just like Coca Cola. Now, this is a chocolate oak cream style. Origin, the UK. A complex roasted malt and oak flavor accented by chocolate and raisin sweetness followed by coffee and low dryness on the palate. Oh yeah, it has a, it, it smells like anything but beer. Yeah, all right. Yeah, it, it just, it tastes nothing like beer at all. Yeah. yeah, it tastes creamy. You definitely taste the coffee taste. Yeah, I don't like it at all. Yeah, but again, I'm not a coffee drinker, so that might be the reason. If you're a coffee drinker, you might really enjoy this unique flavor. But personally, for me, not liking coffee that much, not a go. Anyways, I don't waste beer. All right, guys, last but not least, we have the Floating Head. It's from Germany. The style is Hefweizen. Hefweizen. I don't speak any German. The only German that I know is Bayern Munich, Borussia Dortmund, Bayern Leverkusen, etc. You get the point, just football teams. Anyways, this is a perceptible wheat malt profile with moderate banana fruitiness, accents of bubble gum and clove low to no hot bitterness. Oh my god, it sounds like another sweet beer. You know, I think I started with the best. I started with the IPA and now I'm going like down the list. I just don't like sweetness in my beer that much. But let's give this guy a go. Yeah, I like this one. Let me see. Let me get another taste. Yeah, I like this one for sure. Not my favorite. I would not necessarily order it. However, if you put this in front of me and you put like a Budweiser in front of me, I'm definitely taking this. It's just not a strong tasting. It's very, very on the sweet side. A lot of these beers were on the sweet side. Except for the coffee one, the Black Mamba, which is more like a coffee beer. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right, let me just give this a finish now. All right, guys, so that wraps up this review. It's not over yet. I still got some more things to say. I just picked this piece because they make their own beers here. So I like that concept. I like when people take the initiative to create their own beers and whatnot and just come out with new flavors because it's kind of stuff that you're not going to taste anywhere else because they only make them here. Uh, here I'm in Mumbai, I'm very near the stadium where the ISL final was, so it's like a kind of upscale area. A lot of movie stars and directors live around here apparently. So there were many bars to choose from. I just chose this one for the reasons that I just said. Now I'm going to rank these in order from least to greatest. So coming in in last place is going to be the Bot Warp Orange. It was just way too orangey for me, I didn't like it. Coming in in Third place, we got the Black Mamba. Yeah, I didn't like it, but the reason it beats the orange is because it was just very unique. So I appreciate the uniqueness of this beer, the coffee, the cream taste. It was very unique. I never tasted a beer like that. So that's why it's winning over the orange one. Now, second place comes the Floating Head of Germany. This was a good beer, just needed personally for me a stronger taste, too fruity. Now, in first place, my IPA. I really like this one. It wasn't a strong IPA. Again, I think they focus a lot on sweet beers here, but I liked it. I like the little sweet taste at the end nonetheless. Anyways, guys, I hope by now you guys have walked to the fridge or wherever you're at and you got yourself a cold one and you're having a drink. Boom. If not, you should go do it now. Anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap up this video. I hope you liked it. This place is here in Mumbai towards the north and yeah, why not? Let me know if I should do another beer review. I'll go ahead and do it. I still got a lot more beers here to try in India. 
I don't know if maybe on the next one, if I do another video, I'll try like some of the ones I missed. I read the comments, I missed a couple. So maybe I can try those. Or I'll find another random place like this that they make their own and I'll show you what they got. All right, guys, that's all I got. Oh, the price, the price, yes. 245 rupees for all of this. They also sell food here, so you can get some food. The food is heavily priced, like uh, cider french fries was 500 rupees. All right. So that gives you an idea. Anyways, guys, that's it. I don't want to talk anymore. Catch you guys on the next one.